breach, breach. WR, stop, stop. You're under arrest. Suspicion of attempted murder. And he's now managed to get his taser. We've already played this game once today, and we know how it ended. All right, you guys ready? Put it down. Put it down. I literally can't believe this guy's decided to try and play this game again. Hey guys, it's your boy Dodo McGee and welcome back to another video of British LSPDFR, the mod for GTA 5 where we get to play as a police officer. Today, as you can see, once again, we are playing as the public order unit. Behind us over here, as you can see, we have the rest of our serial, Delta Mike 1 Alpha, and we've been stood up in the early hours of this morning as we have got an arrest warrant to do. The target address that we are going to be going to is on Forum Drive over in Strawberry, and so we're just going through some last minute kit checks here with the sergeant, and then we're going to be loading up into our Mercedes Sprinter, and we're going to be heading over there. I am this morning's driver and I think we're going to be doing a tactical approach to the address with shields uh, and we're going to be stopping around the corner as we don't want to go rocking up to the front door in this big old beast. So without further ado, let's mount up and let's get over there. Okay, so the guy that we're going to go and pick up is called uh, Marcus Fortuna. Uh, I believe it's for an attempted murder. Um, I can't remember whereabouts this uh, has taken place, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a warrant for an attempted murder. Um, he's also got a bit of a history. Nice driving. I'd I'd put the sirens on or hit the air horn, but um, yeah, we're trying to be stealthy here. In fact, we're getting up a little bit close to the property, so I'm just going to cut the lights here. So um, where was I? Oh yeah, so it's for an attempted murder. Um, he's got a bit of a history as well. I think he's also previously been arrested for a different attempted murder. I don't know why or where that's all about, but we'll have a, a, another look when we get a little bit closer. We'll take a look at his um. Uh, arrest record so as i say we're ignoring the gps here and we're going to go around the back because yeah neighborhoods like these typically if you um if you start driving through in a big old sprinter because it's not the most subtle of things um everyone's going to know about it and then someone's going to make a phone call to uh to our chap and uh it's all going to go downhill from there so we're going to go and use this um alleyway which is scoped out by some uh, plain clothes officers earlier on in the night concerningly it's still very early in the morning it's like 5 a.m the sun's only just beginning to peak and there's already people out so that's um that's not good we we're hoping for it to be nice and quiet but it doesn't look like we're going to get that so right this is the alleyway here and so let's just swing it around as you can see on the map the address is literally just up there so right let's just stop it here Okay, so just while the rest of the team are sorting themselves out, let's take a look at this um, arrest record very quickly, shall we? So, here we go. Marcus Fortuna. And yeah, so it's arrest attempt for an attempted murder. Um, he lives on Great Ocean Highway. So, I'm wondering if this is one that's another one that's happened up in the north. But as you can say, yeah, he's got quite the history. Earlier on this year, you had a possession with intent to cause criminal damage. Uh, just a month before that, he had criminal damage, uh, sorry, criminal damage to endanger life. Um, back end of last year, there's another attempted murder. Year before that, handling stolen goods. And then the month before that one, a religiously or racially aggravated assault. Well, that's an uplift, so I assume there's another page of stuff somewhere that... So an assault or something that was given a religiously or a racially aggravated uplift. So, not the nicest of guys. But we've got intel that he's, um, he's down here on Forum Drive. So we're going to be um, going in. We don't know if he's going to be by himself. Um, we don't know what kind of weaponry he's got. He didn't have any um, ginormous great big rat just jumped out of that bag over there. That was horrific. Anyway, <laughs> there was nothing on there about um, weapons or anything. So we're a little bit blind on that. We just have to go on the information we've got, which is not a lot. So we are, of course, going to have to break our way in. So that is why we've got this. We've got a holy bar, which we're going to be making full use of. Hopefully we can get the door open in one hit. And then after that... We've also got the shield, so once we've got the door open, uh, I'll uh, re-equip the shield and then go in, probably with baton, because it'll be easier to use with the shield, and then everyone else can uh, just go in with their uh, tasers. So without further ado, let's go up there. Right, let's take a look to see how busy this street is before we go charging out there. There's not too many people about, so now's a good time. Let's go. What we'll do, we'll just keep a nice low profile going past these houses. Just to give us the best possible chance of getting there without him knowing that we're coming. So, right, this is the house here. Is everyone ready? They're all doing something, but right, okay. So, what we'll do then is I will get rid of the shield for now. 
Am I the only one trying to be stealthy here? And then, right, let's get the hoolie bar. Attention, this is dispatch. Let's go. Officers arrived on scene. Right, is everyone ready? Let's give this a go. Stand by. Breach, breach. Door, doors open. Go, go, go. Let's get the shield. Please show yourself. Yeah, show yourself. Yeah. Stop where you are. Stop, stop. Oh. Back up, back up. Oh. Dude, put it down. Right, this knock my damn helmet off. Right, someone cover that guy. Clear the rest of the house here. Please show yourself. No one in that cupboard. Check for that room. This is all blocked off by r rubbish. Okay. Back door locked? Yeah, back door's locked, so no one's good. gone out of that. Right, good. Have we, have we checked this room here? Please show yourself. Yep, yeah, room clear, house clear, I do believe. There's no loft, is there? Nope, doesn't look like there's any loft hatch uh, anywhere. Right, let's deal with this guy then. I've, I'm assuming I've just knocked him out with the baton. Yeah, he's okay. Right, come sec, on, buddy. let's let's get Hold him in. Let's get him in. In cuffs. Right. Dude, don't muck around. Just get some cuffs on him. Right, fantastic. I've got my helmet back on. Right, Marcus, I assume. Walk with me, mate. At this moment in time, you're under arrest. Suspicion of attempted murder. Do you not have to say anything but may harm your friends. If you do not mention one question, something which you like to rely on in court. Anything you do say, maybe give it in evidence. Right. First of all, my friend, do you understand the fact you're under arrest and the caution I read to you? Could save yourself a lot of trouble if you did that before. Yeah. I don't really know what you're on about, but yeah, sure. Right, you're going to be searched under section 32 of pace. Is there anything on you that I need to know about? My friends will fuck you off if you try it. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not really interested in, in your threats. Just, is there anything illegal on you I need to know about? Touch me and find out. You know what, mate? I will. Give him a search. See what he has on him. So you've got a gym membership card, a bottle of rat poison, nipple tassels, and a tampon. So I wonder if the murder in question was a poisoning, in which case that rat poison's definitely coming with us. Um, we'll seize it anyway, because I don't actually know what the method of this attempted murder was. So that's going to come with us. Right, we'll ask him about it. We shouldn't do, but we're going to ask him about it. Um, let's go on a narcotics. What's this, uh, what's this liquid? You'd like to remain silent now? Yeah, you know what? Sure. No problem at all. Okie dokie. Let's get a, um, a prison van down here. Rather sharpish. On a and then drive. have we got... Oh, we don't. I was hoping we had a... Um, an op I thought I still had an option for CID to come down and uh, secure this scene. Because I imagine they're going to want to do some bits on it. But I guess not. Well done, everyone, by the way. It was a little bit um, awkward getting it in there because it's quite tight. But uh, well done, everyone. We have uh, we have got him. So this is uh, another sprinter that's going to come and take him. Let's take him over here. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming out. Now we can have the transport up in, uh, up in front of the place. Right, if you gentlemen would be so kind... Required on Greetings. forum drive. Jerk. Right, and quickly while they're still on scene, we'll uh, we'll finish this guy's arrest report, and it's just going to be for attempted murder. Uh, nope, not that one. That one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Attempted murder. There we go. And that to the list. His very long list. So there we go. They're getting him away. Fantastic. Thanks. Right, and a uh, good job, team. Let's uh, let's move off. So, um, change of plan. We were just getting back to the station when we've had a call from custody. The um, the delivery team that took uh, old Marcus down to custody. He's um. At the point where they've taken his cuffs off, he's turned around and started fighting with the officer, and he's now managed to get his taser. 
So he's now in his cell with um, armed with a taser. So naturally, everyone else is backed off, uh, and we're gonna have to go in and try and um, try and get it back off of him, get him back under control. So this should be interesting. Um, obviously, we've still got our big. Um, big level two public order suits on so we should be able to you know we should be okay even if he does get us with the taser we it shouldn't really affect us but anyway let's get let's get in here nice and quick right okay let's once again if i grab a shield you can't hide. and then a i'll go with the baton and then someone else behind me can get a t taser right guys come on let's go right where are we at Right, he was in cell one. That's where he was put. Yeah, he's he's still in there. Right, okay. I've got absolutely no idea if this cell door is locked or not. But we got two officers with taser. I've got the shield, which should hopefully um, block barbs from the taser. I mean, our suits should do a pretty good job anyway, considering how thick they are and the fact they've got padding. So we shouldn't get affected even if he does pull the trigger on us. But um, oh, well, let's try and talk to this idiot. Right, Marcus, we've already played this game once today, and we know how it ended. You ended up on your ass when I hit you with the baton. So let's not play it again, okay? So just put that taser down, all right? Doesn't look like he's... Yeah, he's, he seems pretty intent. Let's just nudge this door a little bit, see if it's open. He's right by it, so I won't go in just yet. Yeah, the door is un unlocked. Right, guys, we're going to have to go in. I think the plan is literally just burst in there, pin him against the wall with the shield, and um, hope we don't get hit with a taser. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Right, Marcos, put it down. Put it down. Right, he's, he's, he's been tasted. Put it down, dude. He's down. Put it down. Put it down. Nope. Get hit. Again. Give me that taser. Right, we've got the taser. Good. Right. I can't, I literally can't believe this guy's decided to try and play this game again. He knows how it ended last time. Right, Marcus, come on, buddy. Wake up. Knocks him out with the down baton again. Nice taser, guys. I don't know who, who it was that got him, but literally as we came in the door, he um, tasered him into the wall. Here we go, mate. Up you get. I don't know where my colleagues have gone. Oh, one of them's there. The other one's probably gone to go and get some kind of manager to work out how the hell this shit show happened in the first place. Right, up you jump, buddy. Hold on a sec. Wait a sec, buddy. Right, you're going in cuffs. And then we are going to the uh, the medical center to see how you are after being smacked over the head with a baton a couple of times. Right, there's no point further arresting him. In fact, I might for assault police. Hi, guys, everyone. Oh, God, hello. The um, This was se severe enough that the superintendent decided he was going to come out. Okay. Right, let's take him through to the healthcare professional. Uh, that's... I forget where the healthcare professional is. I think it's through here. No, no, I've gone the, the wrong way. Let's take this guy through to the healthcare pro professional, get him checked over. And, uh, yeah, buddy, you know what? At this moment in time, I'm going to further arrest you for assault police. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your face if you do not mention my question. Something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say, it may be given in evidence. All stuff you've already heard. But, right, here we go. Let's get him in here. Right, Marcus, you're going to stay in here with the doctor, all right? And then I'm going to leave custody to do with you, okay? Good God. All right, hello, everyone. Don't know who all these people are, but... Right, well, that was a little bit um exciting. I would panic for a minute for thinking we'd done something wrong. We hadn't searched him properly. But no, it turns out, yeah, it's just... um. One of, when he was being put back in his cell from the holding cell, um, he's just uh, attacked one of the officers and uh, grabbed their taser. So, anyway, situation has now been successfully dealt with. So, I think we can now finally get back in control. Sir, yeah, sorry. I've, hopefully, we've handled this fine. Uh, and you're not going to fire us for excessive use of force. Um, but, yeah, clearly this was serious enough that the, uh, the superintendent wanted to come out and check that things were being done. And I imagine he's probably got a few questions to ask with the... Uh, with the custody team as well about how this all happened in the first place but anyway that's going to be it for this one guys i've got the superintendent awkwardly standing behind me so i'm getting a little bit nervous but if you did enjoy this uh, slightly wild episode then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more british lspdfr content coming every single week until then thank you all so much for watching i've been Dodo mcgee and i'll see you back on patrol